Good morning, loves. So we have a problem. I am not sure why, but Hunter is legit refusing any baby cereal or any baby food. I'm not sure why. I don't know what is going on because he used to eat it so well. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, like no matter what I mix in it, he just doesn't want it. And this was even before I started putting water in his baby cereal. Straight up, like not even opening his mouth. And I'm not gonna force feed it to him, obviously. So I don't know what to do. Like, I guess just not feed him baby cereal, but like, I don't know why he's not wanting it anymore. I, maybe I'll try cutting up some apples or something, see if he'll eat that. I'm not sure why, but it's a little frustrating. <sighs> Maybe I'll give him some melon because the pears probably are not ripe enough and I'll need to cook the apples. Do you want some melon? Here, do you want the melon? I put it in your silicone thing so you have something to chew on so you don't make a massive mess. Chew down. You gotta chew down. Mmm. Is it yummy? I don't know if it's because um, he might have a tooth coming through. Do they usually like refuse things when their teeth are coming through? He, last night was freaking horrible. He woke up like at two o'clock and then woke up like every half an hour until like 4.30. <sighs> So I'm exhausted, which adds to my frustration. He even woke up early today. He woke up at 7.45, and he never wakes up that early, especially since he goes to bed at like 9.15, 9.30. I don't know what to do. I really don't. It's weird how he's going from like eating cereal three times a day to eating no cereal at all. Like, I don't understand that. Maybe if I make it super runny and put it in his cereal bottle that we marked with a C for cereal. Uh, Cause we've given him cereal mixed with breast milk a couple times, maybe twice. It's been a while. He just wants to drink it out of a bottle. <laughs> literally got like water cereal and some of the apple baby food I don't know if that's just a phase he's gonna go through he needs to learn how to eat like actual food so hopefully when I give him like the finger food like the baby led weaning way maybe he'll eat and be more interested I don't know we'll see let me know, did your babies go through like um, a stage where they didn't want the baby food and the oatmeal, but they ended up wanting it later? Sounds like he's eating it, so I don't know. Am I doing this wrong? Am I not supposed to be doing this? <laughs> I have no clue. Literally, like I'll do stuff and people are like, um, you should have done it this way. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know anything, so... I don't know much. I know some, like I know a decent amount, but like how to like get around these challenges. I'm like, what do you do? He's got a suction onto it. So he must be eating it, which is weird because it's mixed with water. So it's not like, it's not like breast milk. And sometimes they said that the water would make them like refuse it sometimes cause they don't like the taste of it, but he was refusing the baby cereal before I switched to putting water in it, so I don't know. And now he's drinking it. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna have at least one mom comment and be like, you're not supposed to do that. That's not good for them. See, I don't mind if you guys like give me advice and correct me like if I'm saying something wrong or doing something wrong. It's just when it comes across like rude or like judgmental, that's when I get like, not not offended, defensive, that's what it is. There's no need for judgment. There's no need for a rude comment. We're all just moms trying to get through being a mom and going through motherhood, so why be rude? 
Well, anyway, today, uh, we don't really have anything like during the day, but I think John's gonna be off early. And then we have to take Lily Pug to the vet at 4.30 because again, she has another ear infection. And I'm gonna ask them like what I can do to like clean her ears like frequently because I'm so tired of her getting ear infections and like costing us money. Hopefully it's not super expensive. All right, so now it's time to take the pug to the vet and cost us some more money. So let's play the game. What do you think she's gonna cost us this time? <laughs> That's not a fun game. I don't like to play that. <laughs> what do you think? What are you guessing? Uh, probably a couple hundred. A couple hundred? A couple hundred. I would hope not. Well, the last time she had an ear infection. Some oral medication and some topical creams. Well, the Plus last the time, wasn't it like three something? I don't know. I try to block out that. Hey. Yo, pug. Oh. <laughs> the fucking oh. Aww. <laughs> Aww, Prince, I have Princess here. got hurt. Mom punched dad in the <laughs> face. I'm fucking serious right now. Yeah, the portable high chair kind of fell. So. so, Princess is long for the ride, and she's legit shaking on the counter. It's okay. <laughs> He's okay. You're not well, getting looked at anyway. It's okay. No, she don't care. She'll probably like jump off carefree, which don't. don't. Pug. See it. Sit. See it. Okay. Good girl. Why Good girl. Here? Oh yeah. They are red. Not real. Not super bad. They're though. not as bad as I thought. You can they see. Were. I mean, you see how we start to get yeah. thick in here. That's from like chronic inflammation. I mean, I can see the tympanic hemorrhages, but there's a little bit of a, and they're not bad in here. That's the thing. What is that? Her jaw like flavored. I've never seen this before. All right. Here's cytology. See what we've got going on. Flush them out. So we're treating ear canals, not the disease in there. The one ear doesn't look that bad. The right ear didn't look as, or no, I'm backwards. Left. Left ear did not look as bad as okay. the right. Um, so what we'll do is I'll swab them both anyways and look at them, see what we've got going on, flush them, treat them, um, and then what we can do is send you home with some uh, flush that then you can try to maintain them. There's a fine line between flushing and then causing irritation because we're just yeah. getting too aggressive. So, uh, you know, it's... So like every two weeks? Yeah, I like to start like every two weeks. If needed, then we can increase you know, once a week or whatever. Yeah. But just kind of massage it in there, let them fling their ears, and, and just don't get real crazy with the Q-tips or the cotton and, you know, and then you inflame it. Should we? Well, $150 later, the pug has both a bacteria and a yeast infection. So, yeah. And we got to buy this stuff to clean her ears like every two weeks once this medication's done. So it's fun. fun stuff. We love our pug so much, huh? Yeah.